Don't you hate going to a restaurant, scanning a QR code, loading up a Google Drive PDF, a Facebook menu, an Instagram menu? It's just so unprofessional, unreliable, and it's just not optimized. In this case, I'm going to show you a lifetime deal. It's called Flip Link that is way better for your restaurant menus. So let's go check out this lifetime deal. What's up, everyone? This is Flip Link, and it's all lifetime deal right now. Now, I would definitely recommend this for a restaurant because you don't want to look unprofessional with a random link, a PDF download, which I really hate downloading PDFs on my phone, and it's way better. You can track your pixels. That means that you can remarket this later on to show them ads on Facebook, on Google, because they opened up the menu on this system. Plus, you have analytics and a whole lot more features. Now, in this case, what I did, I just searched for a random menu on the web, and this is what I found a PDF that you can just go download it. It must be a restaurant. And what I did is loaded it into Flip Link. So here it is. I haven't done anything to it. I just loaded it in. So what it's going to do automatically is create this really nice looking PDF that you can use for different use cases. Now, my use case is for restaurants. And if you're a marketing agency that service restaurants, then this is a great deal for you, okay? Now, I just opened up this menu. Remember, I haven't edited anything, okay? Now, it's way better opening up a menu like this than just looking at a random PDF where you're just going to scroll up. So I can go to the next page, for example. Look how nice that looks. Jump to the next page, next page. I can zoom in. I can zoom out. I can see the menu really clear. Here it is. I have the options here to make it smaller, save it, download it in case I give the option. Like I said, I haven't loaded anything. I can add buttons to this and I can do a whole lot more. As I mentioned before, this is way better when you go to a restaurant and you scan a QR code and it takes you to this nice looking menu. It's so professional, okay? So, like I said, I loaded in the PDF right here and you're gonna get several options right here to customize your PDF from changing images, the style, the way it opens up, the things that it says right here. For example, I could just say menu or put the restaurant name here, custom URL. So in this case, I've just created a custom URL using their link. This deal comes with custom C name, all right? So you can add your own domain and it's going to look way more professional, right? Then you have your branding settings to change the logo, which is this right here. Obviously, you don't want it to say flip link. You want to use your own logo. The background image, you can go ahead and change it. Custom background, five icons. So if you're loading this up on a browser, you have a five icon there. Controls, so you can enable and disable features. For example, Maybe in a restaurant, you don't want to enable download. I mean, there's no use case for it, or maybe you do want to leave it. So it's up to you if you leave it on or off. You got table of contents, flip sound. Maybe that's annoying for some customers. Go ahead and turn that off. Full screen options, zoom, music. You can even add music to this to give it more uh, a more appealing sound to it, all right? Auto flip on play, yes or no. So they have the option to play or not. For example, every three seconds, four, et cetera. Privacy settings. So in this case, it's public. Maybe password protected. Then you got your capture leads so you can capture leads with this. So depending on the use case for the menu that you're going to create or the PDF that you're going to upload, you can enable passwords or capture leads with this. So it's a really great idea if you want to capture emails and all that, and you can send them out to your Google Sheets or using Pavly Connect or something like that. All right. So it's a really great option to capture leads. Call to action button. So like I said, like I said before, you can add buttons to this. And yes, that will appear on the mobile phone. So it's a really good use case. So for example, this one says contact us and you can add a second button. And I would say, for example, kids menu in case that's separate. Well, they just click on the button. They'll jump to the menu where you have your kids menu. Just create a second menu and link it to it. So it's a really cool use case, right? And you have up to two buttons in this option. OK, you can also hide in preview mode settings. You got your layout. So in this case, it's two page or make it one page. Uh, one page would be kind of like the normal PDF page thickness, regular cover type right to left. Several options available here, send to email, show, share buttons, etc. All right, so if I enable that, you got some share buttons there, which I think is a pretty cool, cool use case, depending what you're going to use this for. Okay, so if you're a restaurant owner, you have share buttons, maybe you want to share it with someone, you can do it through here because you have the buttons ready to use. Okay, loading text. In this case, I don't want it to say flip link. I would say menu or the name of the restaurant, the language. You can set it here for different languages. Just go ahead and translate it to whatever language you like and set it to publish. You also have analytics. This is an awesome use case for restaurants, okay? So for example, if you're in a restaurant, you scan the QR code and it's gonna load this system. It's gonna track that pixel. That means that you can set that pixel to remarket your marketing strategy. For example, 
in a week or two weeks, you can send them targeted ads based on your restaurants. For example, you added a new dish. Well, use that tag to send that ads to them because they were targeted using pixels, right? You also have the email templates here for new leads, new views, etc., and the automation for the leads. For example, you can send it to a Google Sheet, set the sheet name, or send it through webhook URL through Pavly Connect, okay? So you have all these options available. And as I mentioned before, you can add CNAME to this. So it's a really great deal, especially for restaurants. But if you have other use cases for PDF, this will work just as fine. So if you have a catalog for a furniture store or whatever, it's gonna work too, okay? Now, what is the lifetime deal? So the lifetime deal is gonna give you 100 flipbooks on the $129 deal. I mean, if you're a marketing agency, you have restaurants and they start not paying you, for example, next year they don't pay you for the menu, you can remove those flipbooks and you will leave the spot open again to your 100 flipbooks in this case, okay? 150 megabyte limits per PDF. I mean, that's more than enough. If not, just go ahead and compress the PDF a bit. Hundreds of backgrounds, email verifications, leads. You get unlimited C name for all these flipbooks. So that means one C name per flipbook. So that's a great option. And if you need more flipbooks, jump into plan two, three, and all the way up to 10 in case you need 1,000 flipbooks, all right? So I think most of us would be more than happy with $129 deal for 100 flipbooks, especially if it's for restaurants. I mean, if you have 100 restaurants and you're making money out of this, then it's a really awesome deal. But if you have more, jump into plan two or all the way up to 10, it's up to you. So as I mentioned before, my use case and where I think this really, really is going to shine is with restaurants because I really hate scanning QR codes and it makes you download a PDF. I mean, I don't want to take up my storage. Sometimes these restaurants will upload a PDF that is 20, 30, 50 megabytes, which is not optimized. So ideally, I would love this to load on a website where it doesn't download the PDF. So that's the deal that's going on right now. If you like this deal and the video, please use that link in the description, which helps me out with a small commission. And it won't cost you a single cent more if you use that link. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.